Grandma used to pray out loud by her bed every night. To me, it sounded like mumbling, but she was out of her mind. She said, Boy, this kind of praying is what saved my life. You ought to try it sometime. Now I know she was right She was talking to Jesus She was talking to Jesus She'd been talking to Jesus For all of her life Mama used to drag me to church Sunday morning and Friday night Khaki pants and a polo shirt Boy, I put up a fight She said, son, one day you'll thank me For having God in your life and Yeah, I know she was right Yeah, my mama was right Now I'm talking to Jesus Got me talking to Jesus. Now I'm talking to Jesus for the rest of my life. And what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. There's no wrong way to do it There's no bad time to start Don't have to sound pretty Just tell him what's on your heart It's not about a religion Oh, it's more like a friendship so Just talk to your father are his kid what a friend we have in Jesus what a friend we have in Jesus what a friend we have in Jesus oh, 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 oh. Hey, thank you Donovan for that amazing song and that perfect reminder today for each of us to be talking to Jesus and if you're someone who does talk to Jesus, who has faith, who's made an exchange with him uh, and talks to Jesus, uh, that faith started somewhere. And more than likely it started, if you've been following for a while, maybe with, like the song says, a grandparent, a parent, maybe someone in your family, maybe not, maybe it was a friend or just somebody that you know, but someone started that journey with you and connecting with Jesus. And so it reminds me kind of of Hebrews 10 and Hebrews talks about uh, our faith and then also encouraging others and inspiring others towards the way that we live our lives. So Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, starts talking about uh, the confession of our faith. It says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, our hope in Jesus, for he who promised is faithful. God is faithful in our lives. And it goes on in verse 24 to say, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking assembling of ourselves together. And so we can consider each other to stir up love and good works, to stir up faith and to pass on this legacy of our relationship with Jesus. And so when you think about your journey, your faith journey, someone influenced that. And so the first person that comes to mind, and if they're still around, if there's someone you can contact, maybe pause the video right now, shoot them a message, say, thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for introducing me to speaking to Jesus, to knowing him in my life. So pause right now, send them a message, give them a call, encourage them and say thank you for the way they influence your life. And then we have the chance to pay it forward as well. And so you can inspire somebody else today and be somebody that you know, encourage them to be talking to Jesus, encourage them to connect with God, encourage them in their relationship uh, with God in their lives. And, and this is how God encourages us to be connected with each other, to inspire others and to be talking to Jesus in community uh, and to love others as well. So let's talk to him for a minute together. Jesus, thank you so much for your love in our lives. Thank you for those who have influenced us and have given us this relationship with you, introduced us to you. 
and the life that you give us and the exchange we can make with you. God, have freedom in our lives and to know your voice and that you care about each and every moment of our day. You care about exactly what's happening right now in each of our lives. And we can speak to you about it and then we can listen. And you're going to speak to us through your word, God. So help us to know someone that we can inspire today as well. Someone we can reach out to, that we can encourage, that we can stop by their office, that we can send them a message, that we can encourage them to talk to you as well. God, as we talk to you together, you're going to change our lives. You're going to inspire us with your hope, uh, with your glory, and with your life, God, as only you can, God. So we give ourselves to you. We surrender to you. We ask you to speak to us. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.